Do you want to see 1500 plus questions in the EMSAT exam? Let me show you this. They say here the radius of a circle is decreasing at a rate of 0.5 centimeters per second. At what rate in centimeters square per second is the circle's area decreasing when the radius is 4 centimeters? Looking at the question, first they gave us the rate of change of the radius and they said that the area is increasing, the rate of change of the area. So we need to find the relation between the area and the radius. And you all know that the area of a circle is equal to what? Area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. And since they are asking you for the rate of change of the area, so we derive the equation with respect to t, we get d by dt of a is equal to d by dt of pi r squared. And then to do that, d by dt for a is dA by dt is equal. Now pi is a constant, so we leave it. So we write pi. Now derive r squared with respect to time, so you get 2r times dr by dt. And now look at the given. The given, they said the radius of the circle is decreasing at rate of 0.5 centimeter per second, which means that dr by dt is given minus 0.5 centimeters per second. And at the end, they said that when the radius is 4 centimeters, so also r is given 4 centimeters. Now replace all of the given here in the equation. You get dA by dt is equal to pi times 2 times 4 times dr by dt, which is minus 0 0.5, so minus 0 0.5. Now simplify this. What do you get? 2 times minus 0 0.5, which is minus 1 times 4, minus 4, which is minus 4 pi. And this confirmed that the area is decreasing because minus 4 pi minus negative, which is decreasing at rate of 4 pi. So in the answer, when we mentioned that the area of the circle is decreasing, so we only say with a rate of 4 pi. No need to mention the minus sign. Let's go for another example. To reach out these questions, you need to pass all the easy questions before until the system gets you to this level. Now, here, they said find f of x given the equation and conditions below. f prime of x equal to g prime of x plus 3, given that f of 0 equal to 2 and g of 0 equals to 1. Now, we have those choices, 1, 2, 3, 4. To find which choice is the correct, let's try deriving the functions here. Derivative of f of x in choice number 1, f prime of x is equal to g prime of x plus 0. Is that correct? Let's match it with the question up. f prime of x equals g prime of x plus 3, but here we have g prime of x plus 0, so choice number 1 is not correct. Let's try choice number 2. f prime of x is equal to g prime of x plus 3, which is correct. Now let's try f of 0 equal to 2 and g of 0 equal to 1. f of 0 equal to 2. Let's try putting 0 instead of x here in the equation. So f of 0 is equal g of 0 plus 3 times 0. They said f of 0 is equal to 2. So g of 0 is equal to 1, which means that it's equal to 1 plus 3 times 0, which is 0, which is equal to 1, which is not correct because they said f of 0 equals to 2. Here we have it equal to 1. So this choice is also not correct. Let's try this. f of x equals g prime of x plus 3x. So f prime of x is equal g double prime of x plus 3. g double prime is not given, so we just ignore it. So this is wrong. Here, f of x equal to g of x plus 3x plus 1. Let's try f prime of x equal to g prime of x plus 3 plus 0. Derivative of 1 is equal to 0. So now, this is correct compared to f prime of x equal to g prime of x plus 3. Now let's try f of 0 is equal to what? f of 0 is equal g of 0 plus 3 times 0 plus 1. Replacing in this equation, f of 0 should be equal to 2. So let's try g of 0 given as 1 plus 3 times 0, which is 0, plus 1, which is equal to 2. And this is matching what's given in this part. So this would be the correct choice. Another example. Find the limit where k is positive integer. Limit at x approaches to infinity for x to the power k over e to the power x. 
Now, to find the limit as x approaches infinity for the expression x to the power k over e to the power x, where k is positive, we will use Hopital's rule, which states that if the limit of the quotient of two functions is of the indeterminate forms, let's say infinity over infinity or 0 over 0, then the limit of their derivatives will be the same, provided the limit of the derivatives exists. Let's differentiate the numerator x to the power k. So the derivative of x to the power k gives you what? k x to the power k minus 1. Now, deriving the denominator, you get e to the power x. Derivative of e to the power x gives you e to the power x. So in this case, we can write limit as x approaches plus infinity. The x to the power k over e to the power x is equal exactly to limit as x approaches infinity for k x to the power k minus 1 over e to the power x. Now, as x approaches infinity, the denominator e to the power x grows much faster than x to the power k minus 1 for any positive k, leading to the limit approaches 0, like limit as x approaches infinity for x to the power k over e to the power x is equal to 0. So in this case, we can say that the limit at x approaches to infinity for x to the power k over e to the power x is equal to 0. Let me give you like a simpler way. Let's give k a specific number. Let's say that k, let's say 4. So the expression becomes x to the power 4 over e to the power x. Now, deriving x to the power 4, you get 4x cubed. e to the power x, it's e to the power x. Now, derive 4x cubed one more time, you get 12x squared. Again, you get 24x. Again, you get 24. So after deriving 3 or 4 or 5 times, you get a constant number. Let's say here you get 24 over e to the power x. It stays e to the power x all over the derivatives. You have e to the power x. So now, in this case, when you say limit as x approaches to plus infinity for 24 over e to the power x is going to be equal to 24 over e to the power infinity, which is equal 24 over infinity, which is equal to 0. This is like in a simpler way. Let's go for another example. Look at that question. If integral from 0 to b for tangent x dx is equal to 2, find b. 